I've spent nearly a whole month using the Galaxy S24 Ultra, comparing it with other smartphones and waiting for a crucial update that was supposed to enhance the camera and screen performance. But now, a month later, I've realized that even without this update, the Galaxy S24 Ultra stands out as the best Android smartphone of 2024. This assertion can be made confidently without even waiting for the year to end. I carry the smartphone in my pocket, sometimes alongside other smartphones. Often I carry it in a fanny pack, snugly fitting it next to a power bank and other accessories. As of recording this video, it's still in perfect condition without any scratches on the screen or signs of wear. This year the Galaxy S24 Ultra has adopted a maximally flat design, which comes with its own set of pros and cons. Aesthetically, I am a big fan of flat smartphones with sharp corners. They look incredibly slick to me and the design of the Galaxy S24 Ultra in titanium grey, in my opinion, represents the pinnacle of Samsung design philosophy. This is how a flagship should look. Strict yet tasteful. However, this approach has the nuances. Despite the Galaxy S24 Ultra being the most premium smartphone to the touch, surpassing even the iPhone 15 Pro Max in this regard, it's hard to say flat smartphones are comfortable. It presses quite firmly into the palm and the Galaxy S23 Ultra, for instance, feels softer and more comfortable to use without a case. I recommend cases from Pitaka. Currently they offer the best cases for smartphones in terms of material quality and the balance between thickness and durability. If you can't find those, take a look at the original cases from Samsung, they are also very cool and high quality, with a huge selection to choose from. The smartphone screen this year impressed me so much that I no longer feel the desire to use other devices. However, there has been a very unusual situation with the screen. You already know about the anti-glare coating. Currently, this screen has no competitors on the market. Under direct sunlight or other light sources, there are practically no reflections or glare on the smartphone screen. However, Samsung changed not only this in the Galaxy S24 Ultra screen. They altered the color reproduction and contrast. Previously, Samsung smartphones were known for their vividness, distinct from everything else on the market. I always said that it was very pleasant to consume content on Samsung past screens. To view photos, watch videos and play games. They seem to embellish reality, but reading text or books was challenging. It's the opposite. The screen has become maximally calm, making it very pleasant to read text, articles or books for long hours on the S24 Ultra. For example, PWM has also been practically eliminated, so now there is no reason to criticize Samsung for this. However, sometimes happens that some people are keeping quiet about. If you suddenly want to adjust the contrast and colors in the smartphone settings, you'll find that you can't do that anymore. Literally, entering the screen settings and changing any slider won't achieve anything. These settings don't change the image on the screen at all. Samsung has confirmed that this is a minor software glitch and it will be fixed in the next update. I really hope that after the update, the standard image of the screen, which I liked so much, will remain the same. Additionally, the fingerprint scanner on the S24 Ultra pleasantly surprised me. It's one of the fastest scanners I've used. And it turns out it's a new scanner. The S23 Ultra had a scanner from ST Microelectronics, but the new S24 Ultra uses Synaprix or Synaprix, I don't know how it's pronounced, and it's currently the fastest and more expensive ultrasonic sensor on the smartphone market right now. AI features in the Galaxy S24 Ultra include some that are not widely discussed. The standard and well-known feature is Circle to Search, which also appeared in the Google Pixel smartphone. To my surprise, I found myself using this feature quite frequently. 
It genuinely helps in finding various products and items online by simply circling an object on the screen. For instance, if you're watching a review on YouTube and become interested in a smartphone case shown in the video, you no longer need to ask about the case. Instead, you can activate circle to search and immediately find the needed item. If you know that the Galaxy S24 Ultra can transform black and white photos into color, take any black and white photo, swipe up and press the colorize button. The result is very impressive. There is also a remaster function next to it. If you have a noisy photo with defects, the Galaxy S24 Ultra can quickly fix it. Another hidden AI feature is revealed during phone calls. You can activate AI algorithms to isolate your voice from background noise. During a call, swipe down the notification shade and you'll see the microphone settings appear, where you can select voice focus. Even if you're in a noisy environment and don't want your interlocutor to hear who is speaking near you, this feature really will help you. Some AI features are tightly integrated with Samsung's native apps and services. Here you need to decide for yourself how often you use them. For example, the Notes app can process text and notes in any language, making them look more polished. It formats the text and provides summaries or what's written. This is a very handy feature for anyone who frequently works with text and online publications. However, this is the Notes app and not everyone is ready to transfer all their notes and records into the application from Samsung. During messaging, AI can quickly optimize the sentences you write, suggesting more appropriate phrasing depending on whom you're communicating with. This is a built-in feature on the Samsung keyboard. Although I was quite surprised to find that the majority of Samsung smartphone buyers never change the default keyboard. Only those in the known or tech enthusiasts switch to Gboard, leaving themselves room to maneuver in case they switch to other device. While using the native Samsung browser, you can visit any website with a long article and use AI to summarize the article or news, highlighting only the most important information. But again, this only works in the Samsung native browser. Perhaps it with such feature that Samsung will eventually tie its user to its tools. But doing so won't be easy. Changing people's habits is very difficult. There is another cool feature for everyone who uses their smartphone camera as a scanner. This feature is called Remove Object from Scan. You open the camera settings, turn on the scanner function and activate the removal or unwanted objects in the frame. It's pretty cool. Now to scan a document, you don't need to place it on a flat surface, you can hold it in your hands and the algorithm will automatically remove the image of your hand and fingers while adjusting the proportion of the document if it was um, bent, for example. Performance. Honestly, I didn't feel a significant increase in performance compared to the Snapdragon 8. Gen 2. The fact that we still have a flagship processor from Qualcomm is a victory in itself. Did you know how much this processor costs? As of 2024, the cost of one Qualcomm processor to the company is 200 bucks just for the processor alone. But there are other performance metrics that have become more interesting to me over the last few years than throttling tests and FPS in games. First, how quickly can this smartphone process video files? For example, you've shot a 4K video and need to trim it. How quickly can it do this and how demanding is it for the smartphone? Or how quickly you can transfer all your shot videos and photos on a computer? There is a very interesting story here. For instance, if you want to receive an edited video on your smartphone, Say for uploading to social media. It's a challenge for any Android smartphone. This is almost the maximum load on the processor and Android itself is to blame. Currently for working with media files, for anyone doing anything on the internet, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is the fastest smartphone, the fastest among Android smartphones. 
if you know what I mean. If you need to quickly transfer a batch of video files to a computer that you shoot on your smartphone today, then the Galaxy S24 Ultra will do it faster than the Galaxy S23 Ultra and faster than any other Android smartphone. As of today, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is the only smartphone that offers you truly fast USB Type-C. Last year the Galaxy S23 Ultra was the fastest, and we compared it with other Chinese flagship phones, which turned out to be no match. But there is a catch. The Galaxy S24 Ultra has the fastest USB Type-C only among Android smartphones. I think you understand what I'm implying. Camera. Yes, to make a fair comparison of flagship cameras, we need to wait a bit for the first major firmware update for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. However, speaking of photo capabilities, there is practically nothing to compare anymore. All flagship smartphones takes good photos, but they all do it differently. Indeed, there are many changes in the camera behavior, all related to nuances. Yet these nuances are significant. Here I have some life hacks for you. Life hack number one. With the transition to 10x digital zoom, you have the opportunity to cleverly manipulate the camera. For example, if you want to take a photo with a 10x zoom, take it with a magnification from 8 to 9. You will be surprised at how much better the photos turn out. And at the same time, the zoom with 10x magnification doesn't significantly differ from the 10x zoom. The trick is that at 10x magnification Samsung activates completely different image processing algorithms. And they are not as good as all the algorithms used up to 10x zoom. The Galaxy S24 Ultra camera has significantly improved in handling light and shadows. The smartphone understands where shadows are and doesn't try to artificially brighten them, leaving the frame more natural and beautiful, which is crucial for convenient the atmosphere in a photo. What has really been enhanced in the S24 Ultra camera is the 5x zoom. It seems to me that it's currently the best 5x zoom among all smartphones. Now portrait photos on the Galaxy S24 Ultra look more profound. Video. I have one note regarding the user interface during video recording. In One UI 6.1 while shooting video, both in automatic settings and in Pro mode, it has become very inconvenient to adjust the exposure lever in the frame. And this parameter often needs to be changed to avoid overexposure. To change the exposure you need to perform three actions. Tap on the screen, long press on the screen and then a very small slider appears which is not only hard to hit with your finger but also difficult to adjust smoothly. Regarding video shooting on the Galaxy, let me answer silently, just by showing you snippets of video shots of this smartphone and you can judge for yourself. Later I will still do a detailed comparison of all this year's camera phones. Charging. This year I suddenly made a very interesting observation about the charging speed of smartphones. As you know, flagship Samsung and not just Samsung smartphones use the maximum charging speed up to 80%, after which the charging of the smartphone slows down significantly to extend the battery life. And it's okay. Effectively, having charged up to 18%, you can be confident that this charge level will last you until very late in the evening. And here is the irony of the situation. The Galaxy S24 Ultra with a 45W charger 
charge from 0 to 80% in about uh, 30 minutes. Chinese flagship phones can charge up to 100% in 30 minutes if you enable turbo charging mode, during which the smartphone gets terribly hot and even the description of these modes it's advised not to use such a charging mode just for the sake of it. And we all understand why it should not be used. In the normal charging mode, Chinese smartphone with huge power blocks charge up up to 18% just 5 minutes faster than the Galaxy S24 Ultra, but here is the thing. They need a power block that's twice as powerful. That's why Samsung has made the most efficient smartphone in case of charging. That's all guys, this was my experience using the Galaxy S24 Ultra, there is much more I wanted to share about the smartphone's cool sound, the ability to use 2 sims, about the new cool microphones in the smartphone, but to keep this video from being painfully long, I'll move this information to other videos. In conclusion, I can only add, I have no doubts or questions why the Galaxy S24 Ultra is the most successful and best-selling Android flagship in 2024. The history of this smartphone spans many years, all of the company's development in this device and its very slowly but surely accumulated improvements year after year, without drastic changes and attempts to start all over again. It seems to me that such an approach yields stable results. Subscribe to the channel, don't miss a new video, bye!